Guys, welcome back to another reaction video on this year, Mr. Lix Reaction. Guys, we are back, we are back, we are back with another reaction. Of course, you don't know. Big up the Mr. Lix family for tuning into this year reaction video. Of course, don't come out of there. Big up yourself for tuning into this year reaction video. I tend to give my reactions on a number of things taking place. We're in Dominican Caribbean. My views, my reactions, my views, my reactions, commentaries, all them things there. Where I tend to give my, my, my thought process on a number of things taking place in Dominican Caribbean and the rest of the world. By extension, of course, waiting to you guys to give your comments as well on the things that I'm talking about in this regard right there. Now, guys, you guys saw this photo of uh, that I posted yesterday concerning uh, the 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 the, so the madman and he his wife and what have you. But brothers and sisters, I was thinking based on the photos that I've seen, including this one. This was actually on Key and L Alexander's page, and he tagged the individual right there, talking about the love of his life and what have you, brothers and sisters. And then I also got, we'll talk about that, We also I also got to see this one as well. This was just sent to me today, a few minutes ago, in fact. And of course, you can see the individual right there. You can see him there. You can see him there. And you see this guy right there. And of course, he looks like a normal person. He looks like a normal person, a normal acting human being. And of course, he was looking like he was very lo in love with the, the, the girl right there. And on the basis of, the, of this whole thing, I'm thinking, what went wrong in this regard where now he's considered a madman? And of course, you know about the whole situation involving... Uh, they saying that he was involved in some sort of court-like activities in in the USVI, and and you know he, he he dabbled in certain things that he should not have dabbled in, and that caused him to be there. But the question here is, but I'm, I'm putting the blame on him though. But what could have led him to do such a thing? Maybe he wanted some sort of fame and this kind of things, which kind of reminds me of the people who have been I'm um, doing the seances and not seances, no, the people who have been. Caught in playing with cards and this kind of, I'll do that tomorrow. I'll do a reaction on that to show you guys how fake that nonsense is. Um, but people have been playing with cards and all kind of things and trying to find people. And that don't, why would you why would you try and dabble in things that will screw you up in the end? It will definitely screw you up in the end, brothers and sisters. When it comes down to playing with the certain kind of creatures and this kind of things that you cannot see, but you know they are there. People who are dabbling in these kind of things know they are there. They are both sides. There's a good and the, the not the good side of, of doubling these things, you know. There's the God side of things and there's the uh, 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 bad side of things. It's not the complete opposite of them, you know. Because the opposite of God is not Satan. The opposite of God is, is nothingness, okay? So, I just wanted to point that out right there. What could have gone wrong? You know, he had all this thing going for him. A girl who loved him and everything like that. You know, you could see he was really, you know. And then all of a sudden, bam, he comes to Dominica. Or they, or they deport him to Dominica or something like that. And of course... He was considered a madman, acting in certain types of ways, of which I think he's definitely playing a character in this regard. What are your thoughts on this, guys? Leave your thoughts in the comment box below right there. And of course, concerning the whole situation involving the, the, the truckers who apparently went out um, and block up Gada Khan and thing. I just found out that Gada Khan is actually dominant. Well, he, he got his citizenship about 30-something years ago, 30-something years ago. He got his citizenship in Dominica. And as a result of that, he, he can be considered the Dominican. But he is indeed a foreigner, brothers and sisters. He acquired his citizenship about 30-something years ago, a Dominican citizenship. But he is indeed an individual from Guadeloupe, a French individual right there. So I just wanted to point that out. But apparently he's taking advantage of the people. This person, right, to Gadakan, all the oppressors, just know, recruiting workers for a set salary and then working them more hours than you initially led them to believe they would believe to believe i guess that would be stealing right there end salary slavery and i think that this is one of the things that that always is is being placed in certain things they tell you have a set salary you have a certain criteria and then they tell you whatever else deemed you wouldn't put that in my contract no don't tell me whatever else deemed. So you can just put anything for me to do. No, sir. You have to put it in my contract exactly what I'm doing. And don't write nothing about whatever else for me. We're rejecting that statement. I remember one of the things that I remember a contract had to sign. And I tell them, take that out. I don't sign in that at all. We don't have no agreement for whatever else you tell. Nonsense. <laughs> they have to take that out. <laughs> but I was in the United States right there. I tell them, don't try that with me. I didn't say it like that. You know what? Yeah, you know, trying to put things and tell me my, my duties and then all of a sudden put something, whatever else. No, sir. Stop your naughty ways. If you say whatever else, you add money on the whatever else for me to do. You see? <laughs> Anyways, guys, what is happening right there? Of course, I, I believe um, they rectified the situation. So I believe that things are, are, are back on track. The workers are working again and everything like that. But it's quite un unfortunate that Dominican workers have to then rely on somebody else, the foreigners, to do things. To put things in place for them 
And one of the reasons why I always mention foreigners, and I don't include Ross in this because Ross was actually Dominica's own. Ross was Dominica's own. Yes, he was set up by a United, United States individual, but Ross was Dominica's own. And the government allowed Ross or pushed Ross to go due to the neglect and all those kind of things there. The disrespect that they felt and saying things that were not happening and had me doing. Anyways, let me leave that alone right there. Continuing the whole situation, of course, we know about this. Um, this individual is saying the Commonwealth, not common wealth thing at all. It doesn't seem so. You see, the Commonwealth, the common wealth of the individuals in the Commonwealth. Everybody seems to be benefiting and so forth and so forth, but not so in Dominica. One set seems to be benefiting, and of course, the other seems to be fluctuating or trying to beg the people with the wealth. And it seems like that is a common trend to beg those who are wealthy that are keeping you down, who's supposed to make you wealthy in the commonwealth, but you are begging them to say, hey, lads, give me something for my dinner, please. I, I hungry. <laughs> Stop your naughty ways, man. Wake up, people. Our greatest asset is our people, especially our youth. And we continue to constantly fail them, which pretty much brings me to that of the prime minister right there, concerning the whole situation that they had a party. During that, we have videos of that, you know, brothers. Let me show you the video. They had a party. Knowing that a missing one is missing. I remember the whole situation um, um, the, when the Bible talks about the, the shepherd. A sheep goes out. You know, a sheep becomes the 99. One is missing. He goes out there, brothers and sisters. He locks the others, keep them in, in, in the stable, whatever they call it. Not, um, and goes out to look for that one. Even though the 99 is safe, he doesn't say, boy, you know what? Let's leave that alone and just come, let's have our party. But the Prime Minister had a party for his birthday. Brothers, in the midst... Of this little one missing brothers and sisters and the Prime Minister will then say he cares about people which is interesting how can you care about people and this is your birthday party you burn down people I understand you say you bring down people and there's kind of something there but tell them stay there man stay a liquor it's not like you're paying for it anyways <laughs> it's not like well CBI most likely was the one paying for this I don't know but tell them stay a little or tell the artists and people you know what guys come along see if you can do a little fundraiser in the place you guys are there already, might as well. You know what I mean? If they can, well, they get a little sum, send them back where they come from. You can do it next year. Or you can do it later on. Festival not coming up, bring them back. Not so. You can do something like that. But the one little one is missing. And you choose to go ahead with having the party. And I understand on the basis that you're saying, maybe you made deposits somewhere of you and things could happen. I understand the basis of that. But if you truly care, if you truly care about the situation, especially... When a little one, is not to say an adult woman is missing some way, you know. A little one that cannot defend herself is missing. Yet you still go ahead and add party. And this is... They didn't have much people there. It doesn't seem like they had much people. They tell him dressing red, but not everybody dressing red. They're taking that way that. So anyways, this was, well, apparently this was the, the party that they had. Well, please saw the party that they actually had right there. And it's rather unfortunate that the Prime Minister is not only having his party, telling people that they care about them, but then he's trying to blame the opposition. <laughs> he's trying to blame the opposition, saying that they're trying to make what is happening. <laughs> Boy. A political thing saying what is happening they say they're trying to make it for some political mileage brothers and sisters first of all everything that we do is politics you are lacking resources that is as a result of the policies that you have failed to put in place that is politics so if somebody not just workers and everybody and 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 and, and, and app it and and dlp it and and freedom p it and and dlp it or not, not not just they saying what is taking place but everybody in this scope has seen what is going on. Because one thing to say, but when you see that there's something seriously lacking, where well, you have to call for resources. And don't get me wrong, I think the people themselves are a bit to blame, especially when they decided to go in the house and burn down things and this kind of things. Yeah. But when you are lacking in resources and need to call outside people to come in, it is your fault why this situation is there. Nine days going, brothers and sisters. Nine, ten, nine, nine days, I think. Nine days going since this is what is missing. You had your party and thing. You come back. Were you on the ground? No. 
But you then making it seem like the opposition them wasn't on the ground searching. <laughs> but anyways, guys, we have on Matt, brothers and sisters. Matt, there are some individuals have a number of things to say. We're gonna react reacting to this thing right there. And the people that went to 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 uh, Warner in my presence, and I see people there trying their best to see what information they could get about the child that is missing, hmm. kidnapped. Matt, the prime minister, no. That my pal rep was kidnapped. <laughs> and if we were not on the scene, all now we'll be searching for him. Well, I don't know about that, but if he says that, then that is something else. You kidnapped, he was kidnapped. If he was kidnapped, and you. Maybe I don't understand that properly. That my pal rep was kidnapped. Your pal rep was kidnapped. And if we were not on the scene, all now we'll be searching for him. So your power was kidnapped, and if you were not on this, if you guys were not on the scene, you'd be searching for him. So was he kidnapped or not? Or was there an attempted kidnapping on his behalf? Or was there an attempted kidnapping and it failed because you guys were there? I think probably that's what he's talking about right there. Mother praying for this little child to be saved. Mm -hmm. Mother, you see the minister of security. Is a man despite everything. I have respect for him at certain level. And I will not stop saying that he is the man with the handle. Right now, the Minister of Security need to let the government, the rest of the government know he and the Attorney General have a big say in what is happening in Dominica. And in order to correct or to show correction, they have to stand forward. Matt, right now, the minute you have to stand forward. Minister of Security is the man I see that needs to take the position of leadership and to put our people on the right foot. <laughs> Am I being pranked or something? And to put our people that need to take the position of leadership at Blackmore. Blackmore, you think that caller saying Blackmore is the one he believes that should take ownership? Well, not ownership, but should become the leader of the country. Blackmore? You're talking about the same Blackmore that Lennox Linton had to correct? They brought in paper for them to pass bail and this kind of something there in the House of Assembly. You know, make things known to the community. And the same Lennox that had to correct his same paper? That is the Blackmore you're talking about? About the um, disaster, uh, disaster de deferred option disaster deferred option something like that and he's saying how are you trying to defer the disaster how are you doing this some option when lennox had to correct him and say what you're reading is not correct is disaster deferred drawdown option as a man are paying attention to detail and you're saying a man are not paying attention to detail he's the one even though he's in charge of national security and you have the entire well quote unquote entire police force in dominica Searching for a madman who use who the, the police have called a lunatic saying that he's a lunatic and they cannot find a lunatic in Dominica. He's in charge of that. Nine, ten days now, the little one is missing. And you think that the best option is to make him that is what you think? No man. <laughs> You're not thinking properly at all. <laughs> you make a mistake there, sir. Let's continue. What are the things I can say about the, 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 the opposition leader? Hmm. He has his boots that have Labu hmm. from Wana up to Bells, hmm. Layu Park, all of those areas. I, I can attest to that. So he saw them there. Guys, did you see the Prime Minister doing this thing? I mean, the Prime Minister talk about being care. He cares about these things, you know? Sometimes when there's parties and whatnot, you see the Prime Minister come and do a little dancing and everybody, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, everybody happy and thing. But was the Prime Minister doing search himself as well? Because apparently Lennox them was down there doing research, boots are lab and everything. I heard Mornell them was also there. I heard Sparks them was there. I even heard that one of them got injured as a result of searching and trying to find information right there. The big question here is, where was the Prime Minister? The Prime Minister was pulled up. He came to the, the um, what do you call it again? The, com the command center of Warner. We call it um, Ground Zero. Went to Ground Zero. He, he was right there in anything when I, was, when I was passing. But unfortunately, my, my SD card messed up. And I couldn't um, I'm, I'm do it properly. 
but he was then ground zero to tell people, you know, thank you the police for doing a great job for protecting the people. And then thanking other people for coming in and you know, but I'm, I'm, what I'm happy about is that the Prime Minister knows that they have shortcomings and decided to get help from overseas. But the problem I have is if we were proactive enough or if we had the vision enough to understand that we are living in a, in a, in a densely forest region where this can be a possibility of happening and getting the right set of equipments to do these things, I think that a lot of the problems that we have today would stop. But this is not coming from an individual who thinks about the people he's thinking about himself or his colleagues and making sure that his colleagues don't turn on him so he gives his colleagues some extra something to make sure that they stay faithful to him. Isn't that what seems to be happening? But instead he's trying to say that based on what the opposition and number of persons elsewhere are also saying that it is their fault that they are lacking in these resources. Who else falls it, fall, fall it, it is? When the opposition, they were actually out there searching as well. Prime Minister, Senate of Police and what have you out there. But on the basis of you actually showing that you care, you decide to have a party. <laughs> the opposition leader was on the ground trying to see what information he can gather and what sense he could put to the whole um, affair. When the Prime Minister is coming out and saying those things, Matt, I want you to understand. You had a party for your birthday. You are the father of the children. And you come to the home and one is missing, Matt. Matt, you never see a mother come look for, for chickens when one gets hurt, Matt, or one missing. Yeah. That, that shepherd story, man. That shepherd story. Leave the 99 and go search for the one. Because you love, you show that you really care. So the opposition was out there searching while you was in command center. And then you had a party about when uh, on the Friday or the Saturday. Whichever of that same week, knowing that a little one is missing. Ah, Maguisa. Ah, Maguisa. Some individuals messaged me and they were telling me about, you don't normally see I'm, 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 I'm people in society when somebody goes missing. I have seen, I have been a part of a few research, um, search teams, I know, in the United States, where the mayors and a number of individuals actually come out and do research see these things i remember one of the uh, one of the people who were in charge of, of the state the governor he came down and was doing with he was with the people trying to see where they can do some things having dogs and all those kind of things they come together and they did find the person they did find the person but on the basis of of you saying that in a small country you don't expect prime ministers them to do these things when they're having party afterwards i mean come on people come on man are you oh, come on Come on. I mean, when the writing is right in your face and you don't want to pay attention to it, it's a hell of a thing, eh? But when it's inside your eyeballs, I mean, one thing you see in the world, but when it's inside your eyeballs and you know what is being stated is true, party the man have it yep. for himself. And then he want to put the blame. And you know why he want to put the blame? Because they know they have their shortcomings. And when the opposition and number person point out the shortcomings that could have been prevented, just like the rocks falling, you know, we still have rocks falling across Dominica. Nobody want to say nothing. It's only when it jump on somebody's vehicle and something happen, then somebody going to say something about it. We have been telling people how putting speed bumps in on our places in Picard. Up to now, nothing happening. A few accidents have actually happened, and still nothing yet happening. So we're waiting for somebody to die now before we can do something. This is one of the reasons why I even mentioned about the Penville 5 and Penville 5, the area they went down. Ask them if, if they did something about it, somebody tell me no. <laughs> so even if you die, they're doing something about it. But yet still they pay for funeral and all kind of thing. I had all kind of nice coffin and looking thing. But we're not looking for preventative measures. This is one of the things we have to do in Dominica. Guys, and I start telling people, we have to, guys, you have to focus on important things. You know why? Look at our rivers, brothers and sisters. We have lived our lifetime knowing 5, 10, 15 years ago the river was not like that. Yet still nothing is being done to prevent these rivers from drying up. In the next 20 years, guys, if we have river, we good. If we have river, we good. Guys, look at Lai River and see the height of where the Lai River was. If you look, if you look at where the Lai River was, brothers and sisters, to where the Lai River was, and is today, not was, is today. You can see there's a remarkable difference. 
and you don't realize things going down for us to do something about it so that in the next 20, 20, 20, 15 years, brothers and sisters, in the next 15 years, the little youths growing up can enjoy the river like we used to enjoy back in the day. I say in back in the day, like it's so, it's so far, 15 years, not 15, less than that for me. River was nice and banging. We used to surf in the Lyo River. You can do that now. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, Lord have mercy. Anyways, let's go. But you telling me you're going to have party and you're not the party. How many sorcerers that was involved in that party hmm. to see to it that this child is not found? Hmm. Well, I don't know about that part. I think he's saying how many sorcerers was in that party. I don't know about that part. But I mean, come on, man. Come on. I mean, it's very obvious to see. I mean, an individual actually met me today. Hopefully he sees this video. He met me today. And he's telling about the great things that the Prime Minister has done and whatnot. I asked him to name me one of the great things. And I told him about cause and effect. If you are doing the effect of building houses, why are you building houses when you're killing the economy? That is the cause. You cannot, people cannot think. So you're trying to make the people believe that you're helping them by building houses while you destroy the economy. That is not a good thing if you're destroying the economy because you're not making people independent. You're making them dependent, especially for your needs. This is one of the reasons why elections keep failing. Because the people are waiting to be supplied by their needs, by the very political leaders themselves. And if that is the case right there, why would you want to put somebody who's not supplying your needs, knowing that the economy is doing bad? But these same people are providing your needs for the ones who cause the economy to go down. So it's a good thing that they provide the money at present. But what caused them to do that for you? Because you cannot do it for yourself, especially knowing how little Dominica now has. Anyways, let's continue. And the power of God, we have to pray and pray and pray that we break their spells. Guys, I always, and I agree with him, we need to pray true. Praying is the revelation equation to success. But it's not the success equation to success, brothers and sisters. It is a huge difference. Just like the great book says, faith without works is dead. We are praying and we have faith that the child is found. But if nothing is done on the physical point of view, where we're actually putting the, the right things in place, you just pray, you just have faith, and without works, it is dead, brothers and sisters. Don't mean I say that, you know. Faith without works is dead. So you can pray all you want. There are people who are not physically capable of doing things. They pray. Pray that God will show the people who are actually doing the work to have the strength to do it. What you cannot do, God will do the rest. They say, do your best and God will do the rest. I don't think this is biblical, but it has some biblical principle to it. Do your best. Even when God told the people who were trying to take over Jericho, what they had to do? They had to walk around Jericho. They couldn't just say, oh Lord, just, just take them out, man. Take them out. They had to walk around Jericho seven times and Jericho was no small place to walk around Jericho seven times. Aye, aye, aye. That was no small. Anyways, let me continue. I, 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 go, in, I go in a bit too far. Because the spell needs to break. And I know there are different government ministers that can tell the prime minister, prime minister, I think you should take a, take a step back right now because we need to move the country forward. Very interesting right there. But... I think all of them need to go. You might be saying black man by everything. Black myself doesn't read what he's writing. He doesn't even understand what he's reading. And you see, you see Lennox had to correct him. So on that basis there, that tells you something about the people, though. No? no? True? More? No? Okay, right. Because Dominica is going to hell in a handbasket. <laughs> well, I, I'm not going to hell in no handbasket with nobody. <laughs> hey, I'm not. Anyways, guys. Because the kidnapping is... Monkey C and Monkey Blue. Hmm. They kidnapped Danny Dugay. They kidnapped the Mac. Um, the one in Antigua. Why remember the Mac? Chuck C. That's an interesting point right there. I'm not saying that the government kidnapped the little one, but I mean, on the basis of that, you know, Chuck C was actually kidnapped and brought into Dominica. Then taken by the authorities, a plane came. A plane just randomly came into Dominica not too long after Chuck C was taken. And if it wasn't for the journalists that brought it out, that whole thing would have gone quiet. So isn't there a hand in this kind of vibes? So there, there could be a sentiment that the government most likely was involved in the kidnapping. 
Well, I guess as time goes by, we'll see what unravels. We'll see what unravels, brothers and sisters, but it's very interesting. Monkey see, monkey do. So it's not something unique in Dominica. It's not something unique that has taken place. I mean, last year was the very same situation of kidnapping taking place and regional kidnapping taking place, even though there was a warning about that very same situation right there. Yet these people were allowed to come in and dine in Fort Young. Is it Fort Young? One of, one of the restaurants that one of the restaurants by the beach. We had photos of it, of them sit down. People on the boat come and sit down. The same boat that held Chucky. They sit down inside restaurant and they left afterwards. A plane came and they left with the plane. I, I no, they left with the plane or or they left before the plane came and the plane was trying to get him out and what have you. But that wasn't the case at all. Anyways. They kidnapped Chucky. The monkey see the monkey have to do. Yep. Anyways, guys, let me move along right there. Let me see. Come out. I am praying and I'm asking the monkey see the monkey have to do. And there is more to come out. <laughs> well, let's hope not, eh? For all of us in Dominica to ask God to deliver Dominica. Well, you we can ask God to deliver Dominica all we want. But I always believe that the people who want that, and like I always mention Professor Lumuma, the people get what they truly deserve. Unless the people have a change of heart and mind and action, nothing will change, you know. Nothing. But the government is smart enough to tackle people's needs. Come, let me help you pay your light bill. Come, let me give you a sense of comfort. So they like that. And man is not man again. There's a question that went out even saying that is the government belittling man or demasculating, de emasculating man? Where men have to go and beg you, sir, give me a little money now because I need to feed my family. That is not what men do. What men go and beg man for more money? What? Dominica, that little angel going to make a change in Dominica. You see opposition? Find out how many opposition people that was up there. Hmm. And, and you hear the prime minister start to complain about opposition? Hmm. Find out how many opposition people that was up there. I just name a few of them, eh? So. And Matt, I am telling you. What is happening there? Mark has to be in it. Doesn't matter what man says. Well, I mean, the guy, uh, based on what they say about the guy, they say the madman was dealing in zombie, in zombie vibes. In zombie vibes. And even people I was talking to when I went to, to do, 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 um, do search for myself, I even used the drone as one of you. Um, well, the, the, not, the, the less drone. And people were saying they need to get some priests and some zombie to, 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 to do something, eh? So. When when Blackmore and the other one was uh, the, the, the police shift, when they were giving their their uh, synopsis the very first few days after, two three days after, they said the RSS said that something about the ter the terrain. They never it, it was it if it was a, a a demonstration, would the RSS have been there? The brother said it. Her mom, the mom said it. The police failed. He is in charge of the police, and they failed. This is why they are trying to blame the opposition. The government has failed this little one. The Commonwealth isn't Commonwealth for everybody, apparently. The government has failed. It's not if they are passed or not. It's not, it's not about pol um, um, partition politics. The government has failed. That is a fact. And I want anybody here to, te to tell me otherwise. The government has failed the people. They have failed this little girl. And the police force is incompetent. What the police was doing, going in the bush and whatnot, I was, I was helping them, you know, brothers and sisters. I was helping them. How is the opposition being inserted? Every one of these opposition people have children. If you don't have a heart, if you don't feel for that child, if you're not concerned, how can you turn them and say, what, what is the opposition doing? The opposition was on the ground. They were out there searching. Where were you? Anyways, guys, what are your thoughts in this regard? Leave your thoughts in the comment box below. Um, uh, that's why I'm gonna end it right there, guys. Um, and it's when you always constantly telling people these things and they seeing it for them, themselves, you know, guys, not make I making up these things now. <laughs> it's actually there, <laughs> guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more. Definitely subscribe and turn on that post notification. Don't forget to download the app. I would appreciate that right there. And like I said before, guys, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to do this. I'll see you guys in the next reaction video. Boom bang.